Yes, sir. Today I am going to explain the token passing method. Okay, the token passing method uh, initially, okay, all the stations are uh, uh, like in a network are organized in a ring and uh, uh, like logical ring method. Okay, means uh, suppose I want to send the data or I want to send the packet. Okay, in the form of ring method. Okay, the packet it is going to circulate through the ring format. Means uh, like uh, like if I want to send the data. Okay. Uh, in the format of uh, ring ring format means it is going to circular motion format okay so that is what our token passing method okay here the token passing method okay how the token will be passes means so i'll give one small example here okay if suppose in four members okay the four members uh, they have to look at uh, they, they are like they are going to uh, they are going to looking the exhibition okay uh, so if they, they if they want to look the exhibition means uh, they have to before they have to take on the token okay token means they have to receive some um, they have to re receive the uh, token from that particular place okay so means uh, token is nothing but the gate pass okay see if like uh, but, but one pass it is going to apply for all the four members okay because all the four members okay they cannot able to see at a time because uh, they are having only one pass so like they have the possibility to uh, see that uh, exhibition okay one by one so uh, with the help of that pa token pass okay uh, they have uh, the first person it is going to see the exhibition okay some amount of time okay after that again he will be come outside then he will give that same token to second person then the second person again he will uh, like he wants to watch that uh, uh, exhibition okay some amount of time okay then how after that again he will come out then uh, like that particular person again he will give to third person okay like that uh, that single uh, the single token pass or a single pass okay it is see how it is going to circulate within that four members so like that only here the the data it is going to circulate within that circular motion okay that we call it as a ring motion or uh, that uh, that we call as a ring format okay within that network or the within that ring network the, the data will be circulating one by one station uh, so this method we call it as a token method or token passing method then one more thing here uh, here we talk about the two things one is predecessor and uh, successor okay when the successor will happen okay when the predecessor will happen, like uh, that's uh, always the token will be starts from the our predecessor device okay the predecessor device it is going to circulate the token uh, to the successor device okay see this is what our token passing will be happen and the next one is you look at this diagram see uh, yeah before that okay the token management okay the token management is nothing but okay i have told uh, like uh, it is going to uh, priority wise okay it is going to uh, like circulate the um, circulate the data because means uh, from low priority to high priority okay so like that it is going to circulate the uh, data from uh, from one device to another device so this is what our local ring or uh, this is what the local uh, uh, ring physical topology and uh, this was the token passing method okay here they have given uh, four packets or uh, four, four diagram here okay you look at this diagram okay the first one is physical diagram it's normal okay if uh, like all four stations are connected to uh, connected to one channel okay so see if like it is going to like uh, passing the data from fourth device to first again first to second second third to four again fourth like I mean circular motion okay or ring motion it is going to physically it is going to circulate the data but you come out the second diagram okay here you look at the diagram here dual ring uh, dual ring format okay the dual ring format here means dual time or multiple time uh, it is going to circulate the data that's what this diagram will tells okay which each and every device it is going to take and care the transaction twice okay then you come at this bus ring okay the bus is nothing but okay the single channel or the single um, line it is going to connect it with all the devices okay um, or multiple devices that we call it as a bus ring uh, bus topology okay see the bus topology or the wire all the devices they have connected as a ring format here in the same channel okay see the dotted line is telling but okay it is telling okay uh, through this dotted line okay 
the all the data or all the frames are going to send from one to one devices means here the through this link the all the devices it is going to interlink interconnected with each other so uh, this is what the bus topology the star topology okay you look at this diagram for the compare this three diagram here the one they have like, like they have used one uh, uh, what is a uh, one switch okay or one device that we call it as a hub okay uh, the hub uh, through that hub only the each and each and every device it is going to uh, make the transaction because here hub is the one of the centralized de uh, device okay if suppose i want to send the data from one device to another device okay directly i can't able to send okay like you before i want to um, sorry suppose if i want to send the data okay uh, for other devices okay through the here uh, through the hub only i i suppose to send the data because here uh, hub is the centralized device okay the hub is going to control all the device is uh, itself only okay um, then if one data will fails to unable to send uh, the data okay then uh, the rest of the data also it, like it, it won't affect anything okay because they are uh, the independently okay so this is what one of the advantage of the star uh, star ring token passing method means uh, here you look at this dual ring uh, uh, ring method okay if one device will be break down there all the device will be break down but here hub it cannot happen okay if one device will be fail to like uh, fail unable to send the data there is no effect to other device okay the other device they can easily take the transaction so this is what our token passing method then next one is channelizing yes sir the channelizing is uh, nothing but the channelizing okay it is one of the multiple access method okay which can available the bandwidth of link is shared in the time frequency and through the code okay here the okay whatever the multiple access here or the multiple access method okay is the available bandwidth the bandwidth is nothing but high and low frequency here okay like within that uh, frequencies okay the link can be shared okay with the help of uh, uh, it may be a time or code or frequency okay that we call it as a uh, time dc t is nothing but time is nothing but time uh, time tdma f is nothing but fdma and uh, c is nothing code is nothing but cdma okay see our channelization okay they have taken three methods or three protocols that is nothing but tdma fdma and cdma okay then what is the frequency division multiple multiple access okay see the frequency division multiple access here the available bandwidth okay the available bandwidth uh, it is going to divide it into frequency bands okay the each station each station is allocated a band to send its data means each device okay it is already allocated uh, allocated to send the data within the particular band here band is nothing but channels okay uh, so i'll uh, like i'll show in the diagram so this is what the channel okay this is the first band second band third band fourth band okay like that okay otherwise first second third fourth okay if it is a higher order or lower order okay based on the usage so, so this is what the bands okay so based on the bands okay the each station it is going to allocated the data uh, data to send okay the each band it is going to receive for the specific station okay uh, at the uh, at the given amount of time the each station also it is going to uh, use the band band pass okay band pass filter to continue the transmission frequency means band pa pass filter is nothing but the okay based on the bandwidth okay each station having the their own set of bandwidth as well as the time slot okay based on that it is going to uh, it is going to send the data this is what our frequency division multiplexing okay then one more thing if all the station okay bands it it allows uh, it, uh, means it is going to allow the data transfer based on based on the frequencies okay then if the bandwidth uh, you, yeah, like if all the data it is going to send its its data and belongings to the station of all the time okay so this is what one of the advantage of our frequency division multiplexing see you look at this